Dear students, under the topic Formation of Partial Differential Equations by Elimination of Arbitrary Constants, here we have the next problem. Find the partial differential equation of the family of planes. The sum of whose x, y, z intercepts is equal to unity. So now they are asking us to find the partial differential equation of the family of planes. Now the x, y, z intercepts will be the constants. Okay, the intercepts of x, y, z will be the constants. By eliminating those constants, we have to form the partial differential equation of the family of planes. To do, to do that, first we should know the general equation of the family of planes. It is given by, so x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1 be the equation of the plane in the intercept form. Now, what are the intercepts? The x-intercept is A, y-intercept is B and z-intercept is C. So, A, B, C are the intercepts of x, y, z respectively. They have given that the sum of the x, y, z intercepts is equal to unity. So, the sum of all the intercepts that is A plus B plus C. So, these are the intercepts. The sum of these intercepts is given to be equal to unity. So, that is 1. So, with this now we have to solve the problem. So, from this condition we can get C to be equal to. So, the C will be equal to 1 minus taking this A and B to the right. So, it becomes minus A minus B. So, we have obtained the value of C to be equal to this. Now, what we will do? We will substitute this value of C in this equation at the place of c. So this equation will be rewritten as so this equation will be written as x by a plus y by b plus z by instead of c we will write it as this that is 1 minus a minus b is equal to 1. So now this equation has been rewritten as this. Now, this equation we will mark it as equation 1. First step, what we will do is, we will differentiate this equation 1 partially with respect to x. So, when x is partially different, I mean, uh, this term is differentiated partially with respect to x, the differentiation of x is 1 and we get this term to be 1 by a. So, before that we will write partially differentiating equation 1 with respect to x so we will be getting so 1 by a and this is a constant because we are differentiating partially with respect to x so y will be treated as constant and so this term will become 0 and this one z has to be partially differentiated with respect to x and this 1 minus a minus b is a constant so we can have it 1 minus a minus b is a constant. We can write that. Then the differentiation of z partially with respect to x, we get it as dou z by dou x. That is equal to the differentiation of 1 is 0. Now from this, this 1 by a, when we take it to the right, it will become minus 1 by a. So we will take it to the right. And this term, this dou z by dou x can be replaced by p. Because we all know that P is equal to dou z by dou x. So we have seen this previously. So this can be written as, uh, if this is changed as P, so we will have P by 1 minus A minus B is equal to, taking this 1 by A to the other side, we get minus 1 by A. And this we shall mark as equation 2. In a similar way, now this equation 1 has to be partially differentiated with respect to y. So, I will show that here, partially differentiating equation 1 with respect to y. So, now x by a will be treated as constant, so it will become 0. Now, differentiation of y by b, so differentiation of y is 1, so it will be 1 by b plus, this is 1 by 1 minus a minus b multiplied with, this differentiation of z partially with respect to y will give us dou z by dou y 
is equal to the differentiation of 1 is 0. In, a, in, the, in the same way, now dou z by dou y will be equal to q. So, if you go through the previous lecture on this topic, previous video lecture, you will understand it. So, now taking this 1 by b to the right, this can be written as 1 by 1 minus a minus b and this dou z by dou y can be written as q. So, q by 1 minus a minus b will be equal to taking this 1 by b to the right, it will become minus 1 by b. And so, let us mark this as equation 3. As the next step, we will divide equation 2 by equation 3. So, dividing equation 2 by equation 3. So, what we will get first, we will write the left hand side of this equation. So, P divided by 1 minus A minus B. The whole divided by, what is the left hand side of this? Q divided by 1 minus A minus B is equal to the right hand side of this equation is negative 1 by a divided by negative 1 by b. So the denominators gets cancelled and so from this we get p by q. So this is p by q is equal to the denominator of the denominator becomes the numerator and the negative signs also goes away and that is equal to we get it as b by a. So let us mark this as equation 4. Now from equation 4, we get the, we, from this we can write this as a p is equal to b q. So from this we can obtain the value of a to be equal to b multiplied with q by p. And we can obtain the value of b to be equal to, so a multiplied with p by q. So these two we will have. And we will substitute the value of b in equation 2 and the value of a in equation 3. So I have taken and written here from equation 2 we have p by 1 minus a minus b is equal to minus 1 by a. So this equation I have taken and written here. So from this we can get cross multiplying a p is equal to minus of 1 minus a minus b. So after that we will multiply this negative sign inside. So AP will be equal to. So this will, this will become minus 1 plus A plus. Uh, so it will be like A plus B minus 1. Now we will substitute the value of B. That is B is equal to AP by Q. This is what we have obtained. So we will substitute it in this place. So AP will be equal to A plus a multiplied with p by q minus 1. So uh, from this we will be getting, if we take LCM over here, so here the LCM will be q, it will be aq plus ap minus q and here we have ap and so from this it is apq is equal to aq plus ap minus q. Now taking uh, these terms to this side, we will be having a p q minus a and the minus a q minus a p is equal to minus q. We will multiply with the negative sign throughout and so we will be having uh, this we will write first a q plus a p and this will become minus. So minus a p q is equal to q. Now if you see A is common in all the three terms so we can take it out and so we will be having Q plus P minus PQ which is equal to Q and so from this we obtain the value of A to be equal to so taking this to the denominator in the right we get Q divided by I will write this as P plus Q minus PQ. So this is the value that we obtain for the arbitrary constant a. In a similar way, we can obtain the value of the arbitrary constant b also. For which we should take and write this. That is from equation 3 we have uh, q by 1 minus a minus b equal to minus 1 by b. That is from this equation. 
so now this can be further solved we will cross multiply so it will become q b is equal to minus of 1 minus a minus b and so q b will be equal to multiplying this negative sign within we get a plus b minus 1 and so uh, now uh, what we will do in the place of a we will substitute b multiplied with q by p so b multiplied with q by p we will take and substitute here so q b will be equal to b multiplied with q by p plus b minus 1 and now q b will be equal to taking lcm on the right we get p here b q plus uh, b p minus p and now cro taking cross multiplying this over here we get uh, p q b to be equal to b q plus b p minus p now taking these two terms to the left we get p q b minus b q minus b p is equal to minus p multiplying with the negative sign throughout we get i will write this term first b q plus b p uh, minus p q b is equal to p now this we can see that b is common throughout so i am taking it out so we get q plus p minus p q is equal to p and therefore we, uh, we obtain value of b to be equal to p divided by this can be written as p plus q minus p q so this is the value that we obtain for the arbitrary constant b we shall mark this value as equation phi and this value as equation 6 now using the value of a and b we know that the value of c is equal to 1 minus a minus b so we can obtain that so c is equal to 1 minus a minus b and so that will be equal to 1 minus a is q divided by 1 i mean p plus q minus p q and then minus b is p divided by p plus q minus p q and so when we take the lcm this will be equal to p the denominator lcm will be p plus q minus p q and so here in the numerator we will have p plus q minus p q minus q minus p so we can see that this plus pu and minus pu and here a q and negative q gets cancelled and we have the value of c to be equal to so the value of c is equal to negative p q the whole divided by p plus q minus p q so this is the value of c now we will mark this as some equation uh, 7 because 5 6 is over so this is 7 now what we will do we will take and substitute 5 6 and 7 in equation 1 that is this equation we will, we will substitute uh, where uh, I mean uh, this equation the equation of the plane because we have the value of a b c we will take and substitute these values in this equation so what we obtain so we will consider this equation x by a plus y by b is e plus z by c is equal to 1. So while substituting a over here we get x by what is the value of a? a is q by p plus q minus p q. So uh, we will be having q divided by p plus q minus p q plus y divided by what is the value of b b is p divided by p plus q minus p q and so we will have p divided by p plus q minus p q plus z divided by the value of c what is the value of c negative p q divided by p plus q minus p q so that we have to substitute so negative p q divided by p plus q minus p q and this whole thing is equal to 1 so from this we obtain uh, all these this is the denominator of the denominator so it goes in the numerator so p plus q minus p q multiplied with x by q plus here also p plus q minus p q multiplied with y by p 
plus uh, we have a negative sign so minus p plus q minus pq multiplied with z by pq is equal to 1 we can take uh, p plus q minus pq common throughout so we get p plus q minus pq multiplied with x by q plus y by p minus z by pq is equal to 1 and taking this term to the right it goes in the denominator and so we have x by q plus y by p minus z by p q is equal to 1 divided by p plus q minus p q. Now further this will be taking LCM in the left hand side we will have the LCM as p q and here we will have q, q we have so we have to multiply p so it will be x p plus here we have to multiply q so y q minus z is equal to 1 by p plus q minus p q taking this p q to the right we get this to be equal to so we can rewrite this p x plus q y minus z is equal to p q divided by p plus q minus p q which is the required partial differential equation so this is the answer. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.